Meow, 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 everyone. I'm Michael, I'm the author of the Cat President games, and I am delighted to be playing Night Cats Leaves on the Ground. They're leaving things on the ground? How messy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, folks. It's a game about cats who are knights. I trust that you know what to do with this. Soon this blasted town will change. Our time is fast approaching. Looks like we need more than knights. Looks like we might need a superhero. What about Catman? Hmm. He could certainly help us here, but we will not be playing as Catman. We will actually be playing as a cat named Siobhan. So let's get started with the adventure. Cat's Town is a safe and peaceful place to live. We sleep well knowing that the guards are watching over our town. Oh, they're so cute and fluffy. Siobhan is up and getting ready for his shift now. Here he is. Let's get a look at our character. Ah, Siobhan. I wish I could pet him, but no, no, no. He's a big, important night cat, not for petting. So this is a, a tutorial area. It teaches us how to play the game. What we want to do is find these three items. That's what we'll do. We'll find those items, and then we'll leave this room. So, let's explore a little bit. Over here in the corner, we need some solvent so we can grab those things. Looks like we need a horn to open up this box. History of Cat's Town. Long ago, the cats joined into groups and built several fortified towns. Martins. Oh, you don't want to mess with a Martin. They're nasty. They're infamous for their cruelty and cunning. They're the mortal enemy of cats. They have a small town nearby, so it looks like here's our town, there's the Martin town. Yeah, we're kind of divided by a road, but they're still too close for comfort. Wow, there's a dog town too? And then what, or maybe is this a Martin? A wolf town? Ah, they're, all the animals have towns, okay? I'm super excited about the history of this world. Uh, dogs are also an enemy, but uh, they haven't caused problems recently, okay? So we're not too worried about them. Uh, let's look over here. I think I put the ring in the play. Eh, it's broken. Right. Yeah, so it's broken. I need to fix the door jam. So over here on the left. This armor is designed for cats. It's not suitable for dogs, frogs, or otters. Oh, that's what that picture was. It, w it was a picture of otters. Right. We have talking otters and talking cats. This is amazing. Uh, I need an emblem on the shield, and I got this from a woman at an archery tournament. I am popular with the ladies, Siobhan. <laughs> yes. And this is where I keep my diary. It's quite amazing. I'll use my key to open up the desk. And this gives us a hidden objects challenge. What you want to do is find all the items listed at the bottom of the screen. Like scissors, and a whistle, and coal and a grindstone, and a hook, and a flask, and the quill, and I need dice and a brooch. I have a hint, I'll use a hint. Hint says we can zoom in on things. Oh, Fishville, there's also a fish town. I wonder how I, we're not enemies with fish town. You think the cats would eat the fish? Aw, oh, here I am as a kid. I just wanted a house with the sun. It's very nice. Chief Guard, I appoint Siobhan as the town guard. Oh, I, I loved getting that promotion. Let's see, and I'm still looking for dice and a brooch. There was 
something? Was that a dice? It looked like a domino to me. Anyway, I, I didn't get much time to see it. So, uh, brooch is, what is it? I can't even see anything there. That looked like a horseshoe. Whatever. Here's my diary. Okay, I like to write about interesting things that happened in my life. I played card games with the other new recruits. We became, we became friends. Uh, here we want to find a glass and a dice. Next page. Gustav explained we're needed for town patrol. The senior squad is combing through the dark forest. Finding Martin scouts. Ugh. Helmet and a bow. Here are those Martins. Oh, they're so nasty. It's possible they're going to attack. They're frightening, and, it is, and it's exciting to be fighting them. So I'll be more attentive on my duty. And who is this lady cat? Hmm, I don't know. Do you have a girlfriend, Siobhan? I bet Siobhan has many girlfriends. He's pretty amazing. So we got a horn. We put the horn over here. That gives me the shield emblem, which probably goes on the shield okay that gives me two things a door jam so I can open up the door and it also gave me my little what is it, an axe well I want a mace I don't want an axe oh and I got some solvent as well I'm gonna pour the solvent here Ooh. <laughs> Yarn! We're not supposed to have yarn, but uh, most guards sneak in a ball or two. Yarn is pretty amazing, you know? We're, 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 we're cats. It's what we do. And we have a, a shield. I think there's a shield on every screen of the game, which is just the collectible. And let's see, the map. The map does show collectibles, right? So we, we found the collectible on the screen. That's good. Now let's take a look at my equipment. Uh, I have my armband, my morning star, and my cloak. Oh, I'm all dressed? Amazing. So now let's talk to the chief guard. Start our rounds. I am all prepared for battle. Nobody's going to mess with me. Things look peaceful here. I mean, they look relatively peaceful. What do you think, guardsmen? You're late, Siobhan. I thought you'd have learned some respect by now. I'll get right to the point. Lucy, the governor's niece, has disappeared. We searched the area with no luck. Oh no, not Lucy! While we were taking witness statements, one of them accidentally knocked the desk over and scattered the documents all over the square. Gather and analyze them to find out where they last saw the girl. Here, this contains all the information we have on Lucy. Oh no. Okay, so somebody made a huge mess. Okay, they're cats. Cats like knocking things off of desks. But still, ooh, there's a shield, right? Yeah, found the shield. Great. So, no, so let's solve some puzzles. Looks like I'm going to have to forge something to fix the fountain. Uh, forge is over here, maybe? Where am I looking? Ooh, a ball of yarn. That's what I'm looking at. I'm getting distracted. I'm also getting distracted by that! Wow! Can't reach it. So I think that's Lucy's bag. L for Lucy, maybe? And we need to organize the documents here when we actually find the documents. Okay, so copper. That's what I need. I need the copper for the forge. Ooh, and there's a statue. So I put the copper here, right? That's how forges work. Let's see. That thing's too hot for me to grab. That's locked. I do have the mallet. So I think I put the mallet down. Yeah. That's how you forge it. All right. Cool. And this also looks like a cool item I should be able to pick up. But alas, I cannot. We will pick up those pink thingies later. So let's see. This is going to go here to drain the fountain. Oh my, and this gives us a puzzle. Okay, so this puzzle, we want to make an image of Cat's Town. Mm, that didn't look right. That doesn't look right either. 
I mean, that... No, that doesn't look like it fits. Let's see. Maybe this piece goes on top. Yeah, maybe it's something like that. Or this piece goes on bottom. Yeah, okay. So it looks like we're probably going to have a white sky. Yes! Got one piece into place after much work. Yes. Oh, I, I can totally see where the other piece goes, right? This was the castle. No, these are towers. Hmm, maybe this is the castle. No, it's not quite it. I've got these towers. I know these towers have to go somewhere. I just don't know where quite yet. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Well, this has to be the town, right? This has to be Cat's Town. Just put it down somewhere there. Let's see. Let's check out. That also looks like the town. This looks like the left-hand side of the town. That goes there. Here we go. Here's the tower piece. Guess I should have seen that piece earlier. Well, then obviously this goes here. Maybe. And this goes here. Not sure where that piece goes. Didn't mean to pick it up twice in a row. Looks like I might even be missing a piece. Or this is upside down, maybe? Okay, this piece goes down there. Perfect! Okay, we made a picture of Cat's Town and found the evidence that was hidden. Oh man, one out of three pieces of evidence. Oh, uh, we've got a lot more evidence to find. Okay, so we need to fix this. Oh, there's another piece of evidence. We're going to find a piece of paper here and then build some sort of potion. I forgot to put this down in the bag. Can't open the bag quite yet, though. Gonna zoom in on here, because I have one of these. So I just need the third gem. Is that it? Just the third gem? I need something heavy to open up the gate at some point. Ah, yes! I look over here. Now that I have this walking stick, I can grab that gem. It's the third gem. Giving me another statue and a seal opener. The seal opener will open up this, which the guard gave me. Now I know what Lucy was wearing when she left the house. I do? How? I... What? Hmm. Well, I got a pigeon amulet, and I got the third piece of information. So let's put them all together. It's another jigsaw puzzle. Okay, this one goes here. This looks relatively simple. There we go. So young, some young cats and Lucy went to the dark forest. I'll let Gustav know. Also, okay, here's the information. We went to the dark forest on a dare. We saw some Martins nearby. We tried hiding until they were gone. Then we ran back home. We ran like our lives depended on it, which they probably did. When we came upon an abandoned carriage outside of town, Lucy wasn't with us. That's when they realized Lucy wasn't there when they reached the, the carriage. The whole thing was Lucy's idea. Please don't tell our parents. We'll be in huge trouble. Due to recent clashes with Martins, town people are no longer allowed near the Dark Forest. The guards will continue to patrol the area. But be aware that Martins and cats can sometimes be mistaken for each other due to their physical similarities. Stay vigilant, Governor Nicholas. I like the cat patrols. It actually kind of reminds me of uh, the Warrior Cats books. I did reviews for like the first 10 books of that series on my book review channel. So let's give the testimony. Hmm. So they saw something at the edge of the dark forest. Go there, but be careful. The dark forest is a dangerous place. It's called the dark forest. It's obviously dangerous and not a safe place to go. Find Lucy and return her to the governor's house as soon as possible. Aye, that I will, Gustav. And then... Well, he says I must be off and leaves. So let's see. I think I open up this with my key. Ah, it's very dark. I'll use my cat vision to see. 
That gives me a weight. And nothing else, right? I can't grab the other items. I can't. I use the weight here. And that opens up the gate so I can go to the forest's edge. I'll go directly to that abandoned cavern. Not cavern. Siobhan, are you looking for Lucy? I can help you search for clues around here. This was left on the bridge. I think it was Lucy's. You should take it. Thanks, dude. I don't know what his name is. Anyway, we'll explore the carriage and look around, try to find clues about Lucy's disappearance.